This Newell coach behind me is probably the most extreme Newell coach paint job I've ever seen. Today I'm hanging out here at Newell Coach in Miami, Oklahoma, and I thought we'd find some of the people that are responsible for these paint jobs. Today I'm hanging out with Tim. How you doing today, sir? Fine, how are you? Great, thank you. This is quite the extensive paint job we're looking at here. What is your position here at Newell Coach? I'm the production paint supervisor. You guys have been raising your game lately. What have you guys been up to here? Well, on this coach, uh, we're probably the most extensive paint job that we've done as long as I've been here. Uh, basically, this coach is all stencils. This guy, he wanted something very uh, different, and I think uh, we accomplished that for him. And uh, I think he's really gonna like it when he gets the delivery tomorrow. <laughs> so this is how it comes to you? Yes, uh, when we get it, it's all bare aluminum, bare fiberglass, and we just uh, start sanding on it, mask up the windows and get it ready for its first uh, first coat of color. I heard you guys put a lot of time in this. How many hours did it typically take to paint a Newell coach? And how many hours are you guys spending now painting Newell coaches? Uh, we were uh, at 1.30, and now we've moved up to 1.95 to finish a coach completely Ooh. over the awnings and everything. Oh, is that total man hours, or is that the team? That's, no, that's, uh, that's working hours, and we normally have five people to a team. Okay, so you're pushing on a thousand man yes. hours now. Absolutely. So this is after the first step of sanding? It, yeah, right here, this is where how we sand the aluminum and the fiberglass, and we just gotta do a few little repairs here and there before it's ready for paint. What are some of the things that you're doing with the paint jobs that are causing you to take more time on these coaches? Well, ever since we got together with Ryan Laux, we do a lot more stenciling than we used to do. This coach is entirely stencils. So basically every time we had to, we put all the stencils on and then we painted each color individually and then had to cover them up by hand with our normal tape and then move on to the next step. What are we looking at behind you? This is our brand new state-of-the-art paint booth. It's a side down draft and it's got lifts in it so we're not having to work off ladders or anything like that. That really speeds up the process. Uh, right now we've actually uh, final cleared the rooms. We paint the rooms from bare aluminum, stencil, shadows, all the colors, and then we'll actually go and sand and re-clear the ends uh, so you don't feel the lines from the different stripes. And then at this stage, uh, we'll, we're getting ready to bake it, and then we'll spray the front protective shield on it this afternoon, and then uh, come in tomorrow morning, we'll tear all the paper off, and we'll uh, sand and final clear the entire outside of the coach. And then it'll be ready to uh, ship back over to put awnings, all the mirrors and everything on, and then from that stage, it'll go to cut and buff. Uh, we painted all these colors from bare aluminum all the way uh, to the finished product here and paint all the colors, match the, sh the shadow size and everything on to the side of the coach. So when you open it up, it looks seamless. This coach has uh, two different colors of orange on it and they're both, uh, this color here is a Lamborghini orange and it has a white base underneath it. And then this is Lamborghini orange that's modified to match uh, the customer's uh, trophy truck he has. So basically we took this color and had it modified to paint it this color. It's supposed to be the same color though. Nice. The, the paint team is truly, truly artisans of uh, what they do. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's amazing the work that they're doing. Very proud. As you should be. This coach, uh, this was uh, previous to Ryan. Uh, we would normally, this is just one color on the front or we might have like one stripe going across the bottom separating the two tone. Uh, so compared to the, the video that he just took of the coach where it had one color on the front, uh, sometimes we would have some simple designs, but this particular coach, it has stencils on the lower part, the area, the mid glass and up above the windshield. And also on the front spoiler it has stencils and the custom Lamborghini orange up there. So the amount of square footage now that we are painting on the coach is way more than it used to be. He wanted most everything black, so we custom ordered the low mount mirrors. We painted them black. Uh, this area here is normally chrome. We painted it, it black also. But he did leave the chrome bezels. He left the chrome bezels, but this is normally a flat clear, and he wanted those shiny clear. A lot different than uh, what we normally do, but it sure looks, sure turned out nice. So you guys have added to your facilities now to keep up with all the paint designs that you're doing? Yes, uh, we've added a brand new uh, state-of-the-art paint booth uh, with lifts and everything to make everything go faster uh, to, and to get the cleanest 
job that we can at, on a 45 foot coach. It's, it's working out really well. We've been in there, I think a couple of months now and uh, re really liking it. Can I ask what kind of paint you guys use? Yes, uh, we use Sickens. Uh, that's our brand that we are exclusive to. And uh, we use that from start to finish, from etch, sealer, color, and clear. It's an industry standard for the best that's out there as far as I'm concerned. It now is used to paint over the awnings and paint parts in here. Uh, it has lifts, but uh, basically on this coach, it's already been through our process. It still needs to get cut and buffed. But we're actually painting all the design over the top of the awnings, uh, which is something we're doing that a lot of, a lot of other uh, our competitors aren't doing now. Yep. This one will have fade, stencil, uh, stripes, shadows, everything that's on the side of the coach is just going to continue over the top of the coach. All the stencils and everything running through. All the way around. Wow. Yeah. That is cool. A lot of effort in a small part. Yes, yeah, sir. Took more time than we've ever spent on a coach, uh, but I think the results are fantastic. You can really see the metallic in the black up there from this angle. It's actually black metallic shapes up inside the black. If you, I don't know if you're. Oh yeah, inside. Inside the solid black is black metallic. So in the sunlight, it's going that metallic's really going to hit. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And this, this coach actually has uh, wider shadows than we've ever done. It actually starts with our normal shadow down here, as far as sizing. Yeah. And then as you work your way back, they start to get wider. This is this is an awesome paint job, man. I'm just as you can tell it blown you know, away. They, they start getting wider. They're kind of medium right through there, and then they start getting larger here. And then as we get towards the back of the coach, this is the widest shadow we've ever put on a coach to give that like it's popping off the page, which is what the customer wanted. It reminds me of like those, uh, those cigarette boats, it's kind of what it reminds me of. It really does, yeah. Uh, and I don't know if that's the look he was going for. Uh, hopefully uh, he's very satisfied with it when he sees it. I'm happy for you. Hi. Nice Bye. Walking through what all you had to do to it, this is... This is... Uh, just, uh, <laughs> tons of time, tons of stencils. Yeah. Custom Moody Orange there, that's what we decided to call that. Yeah. So. You like the chrome spikes? Oh my gosh, the whole thing is just reeks of badass. Very intricate, um, I kind of look at this like it's just a piece of art. I'm just, I'm really excited to see what the customer thinks of it. Does that, does that orange look correct? Yeah, okay. that looks so <laughs> It looks so good. I think you guys definitely <laughs> knocked it out of the park on this one. I just want to say uh, thank you to the paint shop team. Uh, they have done an incredible job, um, hopefully making this guy's dream a reality. Uh, I think it's one of the best looking, uh, time consuming paint jobs we've ever done and I'm real pleased with the results. Tim, I can't thank you enough for showing me and the folks out on YouTube this incredible process. Huge congratulations to you and your team at Newell Coach here that just knocked it out of the park again on this one have really raised the bar in the industry. Greatly appreciate you. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you very much. Have a good day.